ever realized that the education system is a waste of time and everything that you studied in school was just a real waste of time you know these people they really wanted to make sure that they have workers they have workers for uh, their things and uh, for whatever they do and uh, in around the uh, the early 1900s someone called uh, john d rockefeller established the the public education system and uh, this guy had just uh, discovered oil and all that and he needed workers for his industries and then sing single-handedly this guy funded the public education system and it was for this reason he said in his own words that i do not want uh, a generation of thinkers i want a generation of workers i need people who can work but they cannot think and i'm going to train them enough to be able to <laughs> operate the machines but not to think beyond that and this is the reason why he created all that now think about most of the things that you learned in school do they make sense to you is there anything which really makes sense to you you spend all your time waking up at 4 a.m to go and study who was kinjekitile ngwale <laughs> how to dissect grasshoppers how many of you dissected today you know and many others they you you walk up very early to do things which are so irrelevant and that's why you find in most cases people are always complaining we don't have jobs you don't have jobs you yourself can't you just wake up and go and create your own job can't you think up of something you see these people they wanted workers because they had so much work to be done but no no one to do and uh the moment we change uh, the moment we change the aspect of manual work and we change it into some theory work that's that's how you finish a society people are finished because they don't know what they are doing and uh for example in school you were taught about you know parts of a tree you're taught okay this is a tree this is how to log a tree you cut the roots and this side and you know the branches but you're never taught the value of a tree you're never taught this is the value of a tree this this what the value of this species of tree this one this one this one you only taught the parts of a tree you're taught how you know it looks like <laughs> so you have people who have useless knowledge knowledge that they can never use in themselves <clears throat> something else we have people who have graduated as doctors but how many how many even after graduating as a doctor how many of those doctors really understand what's the value of what they have ever learned they are only people who are bright enough to administer painkillers but they don't even know how to produce one <laughs> one drug eh? everything they have to import they know nothing about it they're just empty containers empty containers of uh, useless knowledge and that is what most people are especially in africa and you know when they were doing this uh, classification of uh, schools eh, there were what we call the class a schools and class b schools so most of the people in public education system are in the class b schools and these are the schools which uh, have so much useless knowledge when uh, you you when you see someone who has studied in a class b school you will definitely know them because of how arrogant they are why because most of them they tend to think that is all about fighting for you know super superiority and things like that it's not about using brain it's using strength to fight because they have all they have been exposed to is capital punishment but class a schools where they the rich usually take their schools to the schools that most of us we cannot afford the one million per term schools what they are taught there is how to create jobs but for you is how to get employed do you see the difference there and this is the reason why these people after they came here in africa they found oh these people have resources eh? so what you're going to do is that you're going to create a system of education that these people we are going to brainwash them and uh, they'll be the resource for us <laughs> we will use them as resource Th think about you and the people who are let me sit down here 
think about. Oh, oh my. Think about even the people who are employed in most places and yet they understand the whole art. They understand the whole art of how maybe this uh, guy created this, uh, this job or something. But they themselves, they will work there just like the way you see a Maasai will work or a lawyer guy will work uh, guarding a gate for all the rest of his life. He will never think, okay, what am I usually guarding? At the end of the day, how can I guard my own? How can I make something of my own? He will just be bright enough to only guard the gate. These people, they created a nation of people who cannot re uh, think of anything, but they can only remember. And that is... If you wake up from that slumber, my friend, you will start being rich. When you wake up from that slumber, you will start seeing life in a positive way. And you will get out of the matrix. And look at uh, the society today. Most of the people who failed in schools, they are the people who have been able to make it. Most of the school dropouts are the ones who are running the show. But those who think that they made it in life, those who think that they got A's and <laughs> they passed so well. They are the ones who are workers. They are the ones who are working 8 to 5. While the others are just chilling, enjoying their lives. Why? Because they got out of the matrix. They got out of that thinking that uh, I have to be under someone. I have to be under these. I have to... <sighs> Education system was one of the most useless things ever. And... Uh, I don't know how I can tell people because most people are already brainwashed that I have to be like my mother, my father. They told me that they... <laughs> just look at the teachers who are teaching you whatever you're learning. They tell you, oh yeah, I'm going to teach you how to be a professor. And the professor himself drives a Toyota Corolla. He himself, he doesn't have a life and he's the one who is trying to give you life. So how, how on earth will someone who has no has nothing on himself be be able to create anything for you himself is poor he doesn't understand anything or you see a doctor someone has been in the in the medical industry for a long time 50 years yet he himself he still has the same problems as he's, he's trying to treat so what have you been learning he's obese <laughs> have you ever seen doctors who are obese and they and they are nutritionists you see, education system is there to fix our minds into never understanding the truth. Just to be a group of good listeners who can never think for themselves. And it was just a prison of the mind. If you look at the schools and you look at prisons, it's exactly the same. Look at the school bus in schools and the school bus in a prison is the same. They all have the same syllabus. The sleeping style is the same. The food is the same. They go to play games <clears throat> at specific time. When the bell rings, they stand up. When the bell rings, they sit down. Both in school and prison. What was the difference? You're just in a prison, my friend. So be free. Wake up from the matrix and be free. No wonder Jesus said, You will know the truth and it shall set you free. And they started asking, but we are not, we are not, we are not prisoners, man. You are prisoners of the mind. The moment you wake up to that truth, you'll be able to realize for sure, I've been a prisoner here in my mind. And you wake up to the true liberty, true liberty, which is out here in the wild. And you become a true African. <laughs>